Well, good morning and welcome to 8 a.m. prayer. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for praying with us, wherever you're praying from. And for those who are in the room, thank you as well. Let's stand um, to our feet as we begin our time in prayer this morning. If you have your Bibles, and I hope that you do, if you would go ahead and open up to Philippians chapter 2. I thought it would be appropriate just to start our time this morning reading God's word together and actually using this as almost a prayer. It's like God like washing us with the water of his word. So Philippians chapter 2, we'll read a longer passage, the first 11 verses together. Philippians 2. This is the word of the Lord. It says, So if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection, any sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you Look not only to his own interests, but also to the interest of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Father, we love you. Jesus, we adore you. Holy Spirit, we desperately need you. Jesus, thank you that your execution led to your exaltation. So we follow your footsteps. We look to you. We humble ourselves under the throne of grace. We ask that you would be highly lifted up as we sing praises to you and as we lift up our prayers and petition to you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. So 
This is how I fight my battles. Oh, this is how I fight my battles. Oh, this is how I fight my battles. Well, nothing can come my way. Cause you are with me. Weapon formed against me shall prosper. You have the final word, Jesus. You are stronger, you are greater. Oh, we just call upon your name, Jesus, right now. We call upon your name. The name above every other name. We remember your humility. Lord, we remember your sacrifice. Lord, we remember your glory this morning. We remember the power that is in your name. Jesus, there has never been anyone like you. There never will be anyone like you. Jesus, we honor you this morning in this place, in this room in Kalamazoo, Michigan, from our homes this morning. We honor you, Jesus. Uh, wherever you find yourself this morning, why don't you begin just to focus on the Lord right now. Even just begin to close your eyes and just focus on Jesus today. He's the author. He's the perfecter of our faith. Come on, let's just take a moment as the music plays. Just turn your heart toward Him today. Whatever battle you may be facing, Jesus is standing alongside you today. Come on, let's focus in on Him right now.
like a fragrance I let my praise be like a fragrance I let my praise be like a fragrance to you let my praise be like a fragrance let my praise be like a fragrance let my praise be like a fragrance to you yes jesus we just honor you in this moment right now Lord, we give you our praise, Lord, this morning. Lord, may we be reminded of the power that is in our praise today. Lord, there is power in our praise because there is power in your name. When we sing your name, when we sing the truth of who you are and what you have done, Lord, it transforms us. It transforms the environment we're in, our home. It transforms the city, Lord. Would your, your word, these words, these lyrics, these melodies, these sounds go forth from our house, from this room, over our city today, over our families. Lord, as we're driving to work, as we're beginning our week, Lord, would it go forth into this week? Lord, your praise, your presence, Lord. Oh, how we need you, Jesus. How we need your presence and your power. Your resurrection power. We praise you this morning, Jesus. Praise you this morning, Jesus. Be honored in this place. One more time, let's just sing out that we will praise you. We will praise you. our voices this morning. We will. And we will praise you. We will praise you. We will praise you.
saying this morning just as we're singing this song to him of our heart burning for him I just hear him saying that his heart is burning for us I just believe that some of us need to hear that this morning that he is looking on us with eyes of love that his heart is burning for us this morning that he is moved by us when we lift our voices when we lift our hands when we sing when we praise his name even when we're just going about life and bringing glory to Him, doing the things that we were called to do, He is looking at us with such love and such delight. We move the heart of our God. We move the heart of the King of Kings, of the Lord of Lords. He is moved by you. So I'm just gonna sing that again. I'm gonna sing it over us. And I just want you to picture the Father singing that song over you, telling you that you move his heart, telling you that you are the one that he burns for, that you are the one that he loves, that he longs for. So wherever you're at, let's just open our hands right now. Let's receive this song from the Lord this morning. Yes, thank you, Jesus. He says this morning, oh my heart,
thank you for your love. Thank you for your love, God. God, we want to move your heart. God, we want to love you with all our heart because you loved us first. You started this whole thing. What moves your heart, oh God? Tell us. One reason why we love the scriptures because the scriptures show us the heart of God. One thing that moves his heart that I've seen in Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 and 10, it says this. After this, I looked and behold a great multitude that no one could number from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. One thing that moves the heart of God is when we dwell in unity. Specifically, the prayer focus for this morning is gonna be racial harmony. Racial harmony. As I pray, pray with me. Father, we have hope today. A day is coming when there will be a people made up of every tribe, tongue, and nation who won't just get along, they will be so unified that they will sing the same song. Wars between man will be over and worship to you will never stop. Jesus, you are our hope. You are our confidence. You are our living hope. It's because of your life, your death, your resurrection that we have peace with God and man. Jesus, we look to you the one who is worthy of praise from all people. Jesus, you are the Lamb of God who purchased us with your blood. Peace with God and peace with man cost you your very life. And we know that you will receive the reward of your suffering. So Holy Spirit, help us to live in light of that day. Help us see Jesus rightly so that we can see others the way you see them. Holy Spirit, help us see the beauty of God that is found in diversity. Open our eyes to see your majesty as we look at our fellow man who has been created in your image and in your likeness. God, our hearts burn for you. Our hearts long for what your heart longs for. And you long to receive praise from everyone. And you long for all of us to love one another with the love with which you have loved us. And so, God, we pray for a harmony. God, we pray for a peace. God, we pray for a unity that can only come from you. We pray for a supernatural love that will bind our hearts together, that would cause the world to see, God, that you are good, that would cause the nations to see that Jesus reigns. God, we pray for that harmony in Jesus' name. Yes. Like a river flowing from your throne, peace like a river flowing from your throne. A peace that only you can give. From your throne. From your throne of grace. A peace like a river. Peace with you. Peace with others. A flowing from your throne. A peace like a river. Together in love, bind us together in unity, bind us 
together with love. Bind us together with unity. Bind us together with love. Bind us together with unity. Bind us together with love. Bind us together with unity. Bind us together with love. Bind us together with unity. Bind us together with love. Bind us together with unity. Bind us together with love. Oh, bind us together with unity. Bind us together with love. Yes, God. Unity. Love. Acts chapter 10 says, So Peter opened his mouth and said, Truly I understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. James chapter 2 says, my brother, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. Let's pray. Father, you are just. God, in you, there is no unfair preference. Father, in you, there is no discrimination. God, you and you alone are holy and righteous. Jesus, thank you for speaking to the woman at the well from Samaria. Jesus, thank you for healing a Roman centurion's servant. Jesus, thank you for delivering a Canaanite woman's daughter. Jesus, thank you that your love isn't bound by borders. Jesus, thank you that your mercy isn't determined by where we fall on a map. Holy Spirit, empower us to live like Jesus. Give us the courage to seek relationships with people from different neighborhoods and other nations. God, give us hearts for those from different zip codes. Father, forgive us when we have lived according to the flesh. Father, forgive us for judging those that we don't know. Father, forgive us for not being gracious in our assumptions. Father, forgive us for at times living in the fear of man more than the love of God. We need you, Holy Spirit. We need you, Holy Spirit, to live holy lives. God, empower us today to live by the Spirit, to keep in step with the Spirit, so we will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. We do ask you to bind us in unity, bind us in love. May the blood of Jesus be what binds us. God, what, what may you do something in our hearts supernaturally, revive our hearts to love again the way you love, oh God, in unity and in love. God, forgive us of the partiality that we have shown. God, forgive us of our prejudice. God, forgive us of our racism. Forgive us of our classism. God, all the isms, God, that keeps us from loving people the way you do. God, we ask that you will wash us clean of that unrighteousness and fill us again with your holy love, with the pure love, with the powerful love, with the life-changing love that those may see us. But not just see us, they may see you. God, I pray that when people bump into us, they bump into you, for we are the body of Christ. God, I pray when people encounter us, they encounter you as the bride of Christ. And may people feel loved by God as they bump into us. May people hear the words of God as they listen to us. May people feel the acceptance of God as they receive the acceptance from us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Your people, your people, and help me to see like you 
your children, your, people your sons, your daughters. Me to see like you see your people. Help me to see like you see your people. Help me to see like you see your people. Help me to see like you see. In grace, yes, God, give us eyes. You see eyes to see. Eyes of love, the way you eyes see. of love. You see through eyes of love, eyes of love. John 13 34, a new commandment I give to you that you love one another just as I have loved you. You are also to love one another. Father, you so love the world that you gave your son. God, we thank you for your worldwide love. We want to love the way you do. Give us hearts that beat for you and others. Give us hearts to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Jesus, thank you for even commanding us to love our enemies, to love those who don't like us. Jesus, you loved us when we were your enemies. Jesus, you saved us and loved us when we deserved to be rejected by you. But Jesus was so thankful this morning that by the cross, you rejected our rejection of you and loved us and accepted us anyway. So Holy Spirit, help us to love those who don't like us. Holy Spirit, help us to love those who don't look like us. Help us to love others who don't think like us. God, help us to love others who don't believe like us. God, help us to love others who don't vote like us. God, help us to love those who don't dress like us, who don't sound like us, God, who don't keep the same traditions and customs. God, help us to love the way you love and you loved first. So God, I pray, God, that you would mobilize your church, that you empower her to love first. God, we lay down our rights. We lay down our lives for the brethren because you laid down your life for us. Help us to love first. God, help us to, to, to bless those who curse us. God, to pray for those, oh God, who don't even care for us. God, help us love the way you love. First Peter 2 says, but you are a chosen race. Hear this church, this is our identity, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Oh God, thank you that we, that we, your people, your people are this chosen race, God, a royal priesthood, a holy nation because of the blood of Jesus. God, thank you so much for that truth. Thank you for who we are in Christ. And so I ask you that you will open our mouths to proclaim the good news. God, we are not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation. God, first to the Jew, but also to the Gentile. God, for all people, for all people, God, I pray that you will open our mouths to speak the gospel, to speak the love of God to everyone. God, you're deserving of praise from every inch of the earth. Oh God, so we ask that you would use us as the ambassadors of Christ to share your truth, to share your love, God, not just to those, God, that we're comfortable with, God, but to, to those that you came to save. And you came to save the world. You came to seek and to save that which was lost. So Holy Spirit, I pray that you would give us power from on high to be witnesses. God, to be true witnesses of the majesty of God, of the beauty of God. Jesus, you are alive. 
Jesus, you are our high priest. Jesus, you are making intercession for us even now. And Jesus, we, be we believe that you're coming again. God, you're coming for a bride. You're coming for a church. God, from every place, from every tribe, from every tongue, and from every nation. So God, would you use us even today to share the gospel? Would you use us, oh God, today to share the hope of glory that's found in the man Christ Jesus? God, would you use us today? God, would fear not grip us, but may the love of God compel us and control us. Holy Spirit, would you ignite a fire that's that's stronger than the fear of man. God, would you ignite a courage and a boldness with a humility that shares the love of God like never before, that speaks to the truth of God and that will defeat the lives of the evil one. So we're believing for salvation. We're praying for the salvation of the nations. And we ask that you would start right here, that you would start right now, oh God. We enter into your work. God, we partner with you today and we say that we are free. We are free from the lies of man. We stand on the truth of God and we're gonna proclaim the gospel that Jesus reigns and that he is Lord. Yes, God, in Jesus' name. To the whole world hears it. To the whole world. We'll see till the whole world knows. To the whole world knows. King Jesus, He is faithful. He is the blessed hope. We'll shout to the whole world hears it. We'll see till the whole world knows. King Jesus, He is faithful. He is the blessed hope. We'll shout to the whole world hears it. We'll sing to the whole world. I in heaven but you and there's nothing on earth I desire besides you my flesh and my heart may fail but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever God we have hope for the future because we see what you've done throughout history God not just in biblical times but even as our nation right here in America what we've seen what you've done God I thank you that in 1865, the 13th Amendment abolished slavery in our nation. I thank you for that. Jesus, I thank you that in 1964, the Civil Rights Act came and it outlawed discrimination based on race and color. God, I thank you for that move. God, I thank you that a year later in 1965 for the Voting Rights Act, oh God, that, that abolished discrimination in voting. God, I thank you. God, that you have moved even in our nation God, you, you, you're bringing us to a place that we must depend on you for reconciliation. God, you're bringing us to a place that we must depend on you for harmony. And God, as you use the churches, God, and the pastors, and the men and women of God to come together to fight to stand in unity, God, I ask that you would do that again. God, I pray against Sunday being the most segregated hour in our nation. God, I pray that there's coming a day in our nation 
where Sunday is going to look like heaven. God, I'm praying and I'm believing even for our church, oh God, that there's going to come a day where people from every tribe, every tongue, and every nation would dwell in unity, would dwell in harmony. Oh God, and then we would sing praises to our God. God, I'm believing for a day in our nation that people are going to walk into any church and they will find someone that not just looks like them, but someone who doesn't and loves them anyway. God, that they will hear different languages praising God. God, that they will hear their native tongue praise the Father, praise the Son, and praise the Holy Spirit. God, I'm believing you. Oh, God, that you're not done with America. God, that you will heal us of our sin. God, that you have forgiven us of our past and that you have a bright future. And I ask, oh God, with the enemy meant for evil, that you would turn it around for good. God, I pray, God, that you would that you would reverse the curse, oh God, that you would reverse the curse of slavery that happened in 1619 and that America will be known as a country of freedom, oh God, because where Jesus is, there lies freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. God, I pray that people would dance in the streets, that they will hold hands from people from all over the world, oh God, here in the United States. God, that she would be a darling to your unity. God, that even the churches of here in America would be a, 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 just, a, God, a signpost of what you want to do in heaven. So, God, we pray that your kingdom will come, that your will will be done, God, in America as it is in heaven. God, in our church as it is in heaven. God, in Kalamazoo as it is in heaven. In Radiant Church as it is in heaven. Oh, God, and that we will fight. We will fight for unity. God, we will fight for peace. Oh, God, we will continue to fight for love. God, we will fight for justice. We will fight for holiness. We will fight for righteousness. God, we will no longer fight each other. God, we only have one enemy. God, we only have one enemy, and we believe that you're going to defeat him. We believe that Satan, you will be destroyed. We believe that the great dragon will fall, that he will be slain, because Jesus reigns. We believe that the seed of woman has come, and he has put to open shame every, every principality, every evil spirit that tried to withhold us from experiencing the power of the cross. So we thank you for Calvary. God, we thank you for the empty tomb. God, we thank you for your resurrection. But God, we thank you for the great feast. The feast that one day we're all going to sit at the table and behold the Lamb and behold your beauty and behold your power and behold your wisdom and behold your might. And we're going to sing together. We're going to eat together. We're going to love together. And we're going to believe, believe that you reign. Believe that you reign, oh God. We love you. God, we thank you for this. God, I'm really praying for this, oh God. Start with us. Lord God, start with us. Start with us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus loves a little children. Yes, God. All the children of the world. Every single one, oh God. They are red, yellow, black, and white. They are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the children of the world. Yes, you do. Your love knows no borders. Jesus All of us, oh God. All the children of the world. Thank you for your love. We are red, yellow, black, and white. We are precious in your We're precious inside. in your sight. Jesus loves the children of the world. Oh, Jesus loves the little children. You love us, God. Thank you for your love. We thank you for your love. All the children of the world. We ask that the world will come to know we are red, yellow, that you love black and white. We are precious in your sight. Jesus loves the children of the world. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you for your love. God, thank you for your grace. Yes, God, you are our hope because your love has never failed us. Your love will sustain us and keep us. 
We ask wherever there's sin that your grace will more abound. We place our hope and our trust in you. It's in the precious name of Jesus that we pray. And everyone said, amen. Amen. Thank you so much for praying for us today. We're believing that God is going to do some supernatural things, that he's going to heal us, heal our land, and that one day we're all going to stand before him and worship him freely. Remember that today. Live in light of that day. We love you. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you.